Good evening, Julie Ellender here. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you're happy on this wonderful Halloween week. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a stamp out of a cork. I've been collecting some corks from some wine bottles and what you'll need, I'm showing you there, is a pen, a cork, and I have an X-Acto knife there also. You can also use a straight razor or uh, some sort of sharp cutting utensil, but please take caution, be very careful. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a flower on the top of that cork with my pen. I had to switch pens, my pen ran out of ink. So I'm just drawing that flower on there. And now that that's complete, I'm going to just cut the edges of that flower and on the top I'm just making a line and then I'm going down the side and cutting into that right there as you can see and then I just pull that piece of cork up that I cut very carefully I'm pulling it up with my exacto knife and then pulling it out with my fingers I get better with this over time the the first time that I did this was not um, so pretty so this is the cork that didn't turn out so pretty like I wanted it to, but it's just to give you guys an idea of how I'm doing this. Okay, now that I've finished that, I'm just going to take my pink ink so it shows up enough for you guys. And there's my defunct little flower that I made out of a cork, my little stamp. And the next one that I'm going to do is pretty simple. Um, I'm just, I tried to draw it on with my pen, but this particular cork didn't, uh, didn't like my pen very much, so I kind of did this one freehand. And I just... I'm just going to draw a little leaf out with my X-Acto knife. Okay, so I, I tried to get pretty deep in there and then I just went around the side and cut down the sides and pulled it up. And you'll see me do that here in just a second. I was surprised at how easy it was to pull the rest of the cork apart. I thought that might be a little more difficult than it was. And you might have to, it takes a little bit, you might have to work your razor back in there, but there's my little leaf stamp. Doing black ink this time so you guys can see it even better. And there are my leaves. Pretty simple. Alright, now this time I'm going to go down the side and what I'm doing is just making a line all the way around the cork. I had to change angles here. I'm just uh, making lines all the way around the cork and as you'll see, I'm going to pull the top layer of skin off of that cork. Now I did a couple of lines on this stamp. Um, as you can see, I'm just pulling the top layer off 
and I think I did three yeah I did three lines on that stamp and this is gonna be what I call a rolling stamp and you'll see why in just a little bit Now I have a wire hanger here that I broke into a couple of pieces and I'm just going to use one piece of that wire hanger to poke through that cork. I kind of had to twist it on there and as you'll see that allows the stamp to roll. Alright, and you see it rolling, and I'm going to roll it over my black ink pad there. And this way I can show it how it works for you guys. I had to go over that middle line twice, but, you know, it's a cork. It's not perfect. Now this next line, I think, came out really, really well. And this is, I think, a great stamp for doing borders. Um, it's not perfect but it's homemade, you know, for me, nothing homemade ever works exactly like it's supposed to, but I think it came out pretty good, and this is the end result of all three of those little stamps, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a great Halloween weekend, and I'll see you soon.